Hi, I'm Grace Austin, and we're here at Ninchu Bay. Something is happening here. You can almost feel it in the wind. People are gathering from around the world. Crews are setting things up. It's the KTAX Champs Vietnam. Here, Asia's leading kiteboard and stand-up paddle athletes will compete with some of the world's top riders as they try to secure their place in the international rankings. Kiteboarding is a sport on the rise. Its visual appeal, fast-paced action, and big air stunts have captivated the world. But it's also the free-spirited lifestyle of the sport that has people tuning in. We're going to go behind the scenes and meet some of the people behind the magic. So let's go explore this new and upcoming destination. Ninh Chu Bay is a sparsely developed area of south-central Vietnam and features an arid, Mediterranean-like microclimate, which is unique to the country. Majestic temples are nestled beneath towering granite outcroppings, and floating restaurants dot the aquamarine harbors and bays. Most of the local economy revolves around fishing and agriculture, sea salt production, and a young tourism industry. We're here at Ninh Chu Bay Beach Club this morning for the opening ceremony of the KTA, hosted by the local Vietnamese government. This marks the first day of the competition for us. Coming into the first buoy, it's Lei Wang Fu of Vietnam. Oh, and he's down. Fu is in the water. It's Duki De Los Santos of the Philippines, trailed by Alexander Shafinsky of Russia and Andrei Salnik of the Ukraine. And another splashdown as Salnik digs in to catch a wave. And here he comes, making a bid for the lead. He's going to take it away from De Los Santos. Andre Salnik out in front as they head for the final buoy. But Duque De Los Santos is not giving up. And neither is Shafinsky. Andre's heading for the beach and digging in hard. Oh, and another wave. He's pulling away. What a race. And it's going to be Andre Salnik followed by Duque De Los Santos and Alexander Shafinsky in third. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the second heat of the women's twin tip racing. Turn your eyes to the water and you'll see the wind is pumping and the ladies are rigged and ready for the flag countdown to begin. Timing is everything in a running start race like this. Each rider wants to be crossing the start line at full speed as the siren goes off. And the flag is up. It's a very tight pack as Jingle Chen of China takes the early lead. Jingle Chen out in front and trailed by Pauline Valesa of France and Fawn Benyapa Chantuan of Thailand. As the pack loosens up and heads for the upwind buoy, it's still Chen in the lead with riders Valesa and Chantuan within striking distance and hot on her tail. She'll have to keep it tight around the buoy. She's a touch wide, but no one is going to catch this girl as she swings her kite into the downwind surge. Jingle Chen just 16 years old, has a commanding lead in this heat. She came with her A-game today, and she'll cross the finish line first, with Valesa edging out Chantuan for second place. Stay tuned, folks. We've got Freestyle X coming up next. Freestyle X is a combination of traditional big air stunts, referred to as old school, and the new wakeboard style acrobatics, or new school tricks, only made possible by unhooking the kite. The wind has been exceptional, and there's been a heated battle raging on both fronts in the men's and women's competitions. Let's take a look at some of the top-notch riding we've seen from the women's fields here in Vietnam. Down to just 
two competitors as Marine Duprat of France and Annabelle Van Westrop of Aruba slide into the water for the final heat. Marine hits first with an explosive S-Bend and Annabelle takes to the air with a hands-on dead man. There's a classic Rayleigh from Marine followed by an S-Bend to blind from Annabelle. Marine Duprat says, I can do that too. Here comes a big air tail grab from Annabelle and another from Marine to answer. Annabelle with a fine S-Bend. Marine with a blind judge. Annabelle strikes back with one of her own. Marine flying a hooked in F-16. And Annabelle up in the air with a kite loop. And an S-Bend 360 air pass to finish the heat for Marine Duprat. A fine job, ladies. After an epic battle, it comes down to this. The final heat of the men's freestyle X as Andrei Selnik of the Ukraine opens with a beautiful dark slide across the water. Here's Dylan Vandermeij of the Netherlands. He takes to the air with a high flying double board off. Selnik answers with a big air mega loop and hangs on for a skip hop landing. And here's Vandermeij in the background with a double inverted back roll and a tail grab to toe side to finish it off. Now Andre takes flight with a lazy dead man and a stylish air pump to finish his move. Dylan leaps into the sky with a unique dead man style start into a front roll and a one foot board off. Salmik slugs back with a 360 degree blind judge losing his hat as Vandermeij makes a pit stop on the beach to change out his rig and Andre picks up his lucky hat from the water. Dylan's back in the air with a 360 degree kite loop and a rough landing as Salmik executes a red hot back mode. And here's the reply, an equally hot front mode from Dylan. What a phenomenal heat this has been. Another blind judge 540 from Andre as Dylan heads back out with a minute to go in the final heat. Now Salnik with a slim chance 540 and Vandermeij finishes the heat with a double handle pass 720 just as the whistle blows to end the competition. You lost your head! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you went, man? How did you go? was a little crazy, you know, a few gusts was like, ah, like that, was scary, but I don't know, I'm happy with my riding. Maybe I can do a little bit better, but next time. So you've been here in Ninchu Bay for almost a week now. What was the highlight for you? Winning, of course. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. Well, we're really happy to see you up here on the podium and we'll look out for you at the prize ceremony Thanks. later. Thank you. Nice one, man. Killed it. Aw, it's over. No, it's not. Sure, we still got the party. We do. We do indeed.